dude, my hair ain't done. What up, what up? We're on our way. We're going elk hunting. We're going elk hunting. Up north. We're on our way. Heading up. Two and a half hour drive, maybe? Yeah, about two and a half hours. We're driving through Phoenix right now. Oh, I gotta get him off right here. We're gonna make a stop. We're gonna go to, what is it? Bass Pro Shop? Bass Pro Shop. We're gonna go to Bass Pro Shop. Let's go kill some time. We got a little bit of time. Once we get to uh, our area, it's, we got a, a snowstorm coming in. So we're gonna be snowed out probably for the first day and a half. So we're just killing some time. Gonna stop at the Bass Pro Shop, go check out their Black Friday sales. Are we going north? Obviously, we're going north. <laughs> uh, where we're going. Yeah, we're heading out. Got all our shit. Hell yeah. Stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. You always get me when I'm drinking coffee, dude. <laughs> this guy's always drinking always coffee. coffee dude. <clears throat> We're at Bass Pro Shop. Mesa, Arizona. We're at Bass Pro Shop. I'm gonna go check it out. Well, we are officially in the unit. Unit 6A, Arizona. Heading up I-17, heading to the spot. We just stopped to fuel up, get a little bit of food to eat, and we should be there shortly. Hell yeah, first elk hunt for both me and Ruben. First tag I've ever gotten for elk, bull. Hopefully I can find a big ass bull elk. Hopefully Ruben can find one. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So hell yeah, we're almost there. It's getting down. We are at our first location. And since we got a big winter storm coming in, there's gonna, supposedly gonna be uh, possibly two feet of snow. So uh, we came to a different spot that we know we're, we're just off the road. You'll see the, it's not pavement, it's a dirt road. But that way you're allowed to drive uh, vehicles and stuff, razors. This way is a quiet area. There's no, uh, no motorized vehicles that way. So that's the way we're going. No motorized vehicles. Whatever you get, you got to pack it out. So we're going to head that way. We're going to go do a little bit of scouting, walk around, go look, see what we can find. Just kind of get a feel for the area. Ruben's over here getting ready. Yep, so Ruben's getting ready. It's pretty cold out, but I don't think we'll, we'll have any problems beautiful out right now there's a little bit of rain right now all day periodically but super beautiful out here and we will be heading that way so stay tuned some elk hunting coming up Super excited because this is my first elk hunt. Never even stepped foot in this country. So we're just going to dive right in. 
So hell yeah. You ready over there, Ruben? Getting. Yep. See what happens. Hell uh, yeah. It is opening day. And just like I was saying in the other videos, check it out. <coughs> it is snowing like a mother father. We probably have, well, that was where I took a piss. We probably have like eight inches of snow already. And it's 8.12. 8 12 in the morning. Uh, 28 degrees. Oh, what does it say? For Southern Arizona boys, well, for me, I'm cold. You know, Southern Arizona, 28 hot, hot, degrees. Hot. hot. <clears throat> so, yep. We're in the middle of a blizzard. Unit 6A. Look at all that snow. Look at the back of the truck. This is it. We're hunting. <laughs> <laughs> hunting <coughs> hardcore. Yeah, we'll wait for the weather to subside a little bit and then we'll head out. But for now, we'll find we're them. We'll find them. We're not worried. Huh? We'll find them. With our skills combined. <laughs> well, this was our camp last night. <clears throat> Got plenty of snow. We're in unit 6A right now. <clears throat> Getting snowed out. It's snowing like crazy right now. Because it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is where we're going right here. That's where we're going, heading that way. So much snow. It's ridiculous. I thought I'd just get out here and enjoy the snow. So hell yeah. Out here on my first elk hunt. Got my best friend Ruben right here. Hunting partner, along with the for the ride, he's in there getting ready. But uh, we're just gonna walk a little bit. We're not gonna do much. Today's pretty much kickback day, so I don't want to get you know stuck out in the blizzard more. Because as you can see, it's pretty thick. But yep, hell yeah, snowed out first elk hunt. Tomorrow it's going to clear up. There's not going to be no more snow. Well, no more snow falling. So it'll be snow on the ground. It'll clear up. We'll have visibility. It'll be a good elk hunt. So stay tuned. It'll be, it's going to be fun. Super excited. Today's opening day. I can shoot an elk if it walks by. But hell yeah. Stay tuned. Peace out. You can't really see, but we kind of got a situation going on. <clears throat> situation going on out in front of our truck seems like a guy with two-wheel drive come up in the mountain in a blizzard got stuck dude tried to help him took off and the dude got stuck again right in front of us built up a line of three jeeps and a truck and then another truck on this side yeah. You can't really see. 
Oh, he's trying to pull oh, him out. They're getting him. He's going. They're getting him going. They're pulling him out. Yeah, they're getting him. So that guy in two-wheel drive. And then there's a couple Jeeps. One Jeep is stuck. What's the situation on the Jeep? Yeah, they're still trying to get it out of that <coughs> rut right there on the side of the road. Here. Try to get footage right there. If you can see it. The camera's on the left side. You can't really. You can't see the blue Jeep. And oh, the yeah. black Jeep right there. He's trying to get the Jeep out. Oh, there he goes. Winching them out. They're pretty much in the front now. Let me see. Of the truck. Let's see if we can get it. Going that way. Yeah, two more trucks got stacked up on each other here. Yeah, the blue Jeep tried to go around, and he ended up getting stuck. And then the black Jeep pulled up and pulled him out. So at least there's a... They're helping each other out. So yeah, black Jeep got him out. So there was a total of And there's one, another couple vehicles two, coming through. Three, four, five, six. Just some advice. Total. When you're going up through the mountain and it's like a blizzard, don't drive up there with two-wheel drive. Yeah. I'm glad we're not those guys. Oh, there they go. This is our house for the last couple days. Yeah, spend a little fortune and live like a homeless guy in a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're right here chilling in the in the truck. Yup. <laughs> chilling in the truck. <coughs> Going to lose it all crazy. Here's my little spot that I was laying down. Ruben's making some what soup or something? What is that? Oatmeal? <laughs> oatmeal? <laughs> this motherfucker got, got some oatmeal. <clears throat> so yep, he's making some oatmeal. We just be chilling. Looks like it's kind of uh. Here, put the key in there real quick. Actually, fuck that. This is outside the door. real windy a little bit of snow Don't it kind of slowed down on the snowing but still a grip of snow on the ground <clears throat> yeah, grip of snow got some water and stuff some coffee See all the snow that built up? Ruben cleared out the bed and then it's been snowing more, so. Just chilling. Today was opening day. <clears throat> we only went out for about an hour. And we that was the only clearing we pretty much had all day. Was it about, I don't know, 10.30, 11 o'clock? Gave us a little bit of a break. We got to walk out a couple hundred yards. Didn't really see much because we didn't walk very far. But uh saw some bobcat tracks or fox or something like that. But besides that, nothing really because it was, a, like I said, a kickback day. Just kind of got snowed out. So tomorrow it's supposed to be uh, clearing up. Tomorrow's going to clear up and we're going to head out and hopefully find some elk. Hopefully find one good enough to shoot at. So see you in the morning. We're going to grub down and probably pass out. The faster you shut your eyes, the faster the next day comes. <laughs> so, hell yeah. See you in the morning.
Well, it's day three. And I'm taking a lunch break. We came to another area. Just doing some glassing. So far, first day, snowed out. No activity, nothing. Didn't even hunt. <clears throat> Second day, Saturday. I didn't get no footage or nothing because it was kind of a dead day. And we didn't really do nothing, just a lot of walking. We uh, started off the morning, walked up the hill, and then uh, I glassed up my first bull elk. He was over a thousand yards. Tall, real big, probably six by six. And then uh, jumped in the truck, drove down, tried to locate him again. We got on his tracks. We followed his tracks for like five miles. He just wouldn't stop. We, well, actually, he, he stopped once. We found his bed. But he kept going. Couldn't find nothing, so we had to just turn around and go back to the truck because it was getting dark. Then, today, we woke up in the morning. We had uh, seen some, some cow elk. Uh, not too far from the truck where we were camping. And, uh, so we went up the hill, followed some tracks, didn't really see much. So we're like, let's go back to the truck, re, you know, reevaluate things. And we were walking back to the truck. And there was a big ass herd of elk crossing the road. Dude was in a razor. <clears throat> he, he got a shot off. And me and Ruben ran. Ran about 100 yards, tried to cut him off a little bit. I got a couple of shots on the pretty big bull, but they're fucking just going through the trees. So, for the third day, it was more action than most. We pretty much know kind of where they're kind of crossing, what they've been doing in the past two days. So, hopefully... We can find one later. Right now I'm going to take a lunch break. Glass a little bit more. We'll probably go back to our original area. Here's the truck. All our shit. Ruben. Ruben's all sad, just like me. I'm frustrated. Ain't getting no bulls. Just wrong. Bulls are right there, but we're not. Wrong place, wrong time. And everybody else gets to fucking shoot at bulls right off the road. We're not trying to be those guys, but I guess we got to be those guys. Yeah, and then on the way back, after I shot at those bulls, <laughs> we're walking back to the truck, and Ruben glasses up two big-ass bulls that ran right by the truck. The truck was probably 600 yards away, and they ran probably within 100 yards of the truck. Oh, uh, if we would have just stayed at the truck. These two herds we could have got shots at if we missed. Uh -huh, if, we, if we stayed at the truck, we would have got shots at two different herds. But, oh well. We still got what four days. What can you do? Man? We still got four and a half days. We're on the third day. So, that's the update so far. I wish it would be a, a bull down update, but... We'll try. We're trying. It'll be soon. There's some turkeys over there. It's like five or six of them, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at them all. Five, six. Good sized turkeys. Those two in the middle. The one under the tree is the nicer one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I saw fucking turkeys for my first time. Right there. Fucking turkeys. They're probably a hundred yards away. Come on, 
some snowballs at us? This is what we're trying to find the elk in. Pain in the ass. What's up? It is day four, December 2nd. It's early in the morning. Just got out of the truck. And we're just looking at all, all this right here. We saw a spike already walk by. <clears throat> but so far, nothing really. Just got two shots on a bull running yesterday. <clears throat> and that's about it. So now we're going to probably chill here and wait to see if any elk cross. So wish us luck. I just filled my tag. Look at that one. Damn, that's a good one. That's a good one over there. Damn, that is a good one. Look at that. That one right in the road, right there. Tag filled. Damn, goes they, might close. they might shoot over here. Yeah, there's a couple guys in these trees over here. Just filled my tag. Oh, yeah. Just got him. Yeah, Just right now. Go check this bull out. Oh uh, yeah. Go check that other one out too. Damn. Oh, that was a stick. Yeah. That was a stick. Yeah, there's people up there this morning too. There's like three, two, three people. Right here, all the, the whole time, bro. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Congratulations, bro. Yeah, congratulations, bro. Oh, How's it going? going? So thanks, man. I didn't even, I didn't even see hey, this one, bro. Yeah, we weren't even looking yeah, at that one. Yeah, I thought one, we were man. pointing at that one. I was like, that one's down already. No, no, no that, that, one, that, one, that one. Yeah, that one. This is my bull right here. I heard, and we're going to take that one. And we're like, hold on, here comes that more. Rip, dude. There's like two people in here right now. That's my first bull ever. Right on. Right for on, yeah. Already, Get in there, I'll take a picture with it. Oh, I'm doing a video right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you want to be Right on, brother. Hell yeah. Look at where you got him. Yeah, I had to yeah. take a finishing shot. Oh, yeah. I hit him uh, right here was my first so shot. Been out here since Thursday, all discouraged. So oh, hell yeah. You. Fucking first bull for him, man. First time oh, ever out here. Nice. First time ever nice out here. Nice bull, dude. We're Tucson here. We don't oh, come yeah. up here. We're just... coos hunters, man. What's your name? Javier. Javier? Javier. Javier just got a bull too, right here. Right, 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 right on. He's still kicking. He's still kicking. He's just right there. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah, we too. saw we literally he's saw a, him coming out. This one was coming out first limping. He's a spiker. And he was coming out, and I was like, oh shit, I'm taking it. And then he's like, there's fucking more. <laughs> we fucking look back at this one coming out. He's like, oh man. Shit ton of them. Take that bigger one. I was like, I'm taking the bigger one. I was like, I ain't doing Fuck it. Yeah. Hell yeah. For like three days we've been seeing activity here. 
And then yesterday, so we got a herd it like done. this came up. We're like six hundred yards from the truck. We walked fucking yeah, yeah. far. Be and back in a minute after, after all the excitement. Bites, There'll still be excitement. Well, after all the excitement, this is my 2019 bull elk. First ever elk. First ever elk. I'm grateful for this one. Thank God. Look how far away from the truck. The truck is right there. We were parked over there. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the little interview here. This is a video of a preparation of uh, the antlers. Ruben's trying to clean off his antler because he took a dive into the took a dive into the mud after I shot him. Big old bull, dude. I'm so fucking happy. I'm fucking stoked. I think we saw him, dude. Our plan worked. Huh, our plan worked. Three days of activity on this hill. We're fucking ourselves the last couple days. We said, fuck it. We're going to sit and wait. We sat and wait. Huh. Two hours after we woke up. You know what? We're doing this video different. We're just throwing it all in here. Screw it. Videos are already going. Yeah. <clears throat> you could talk to it, whatever. First bull ever. Didn't even scout, not one minute. My first bull, right there. Hey, and he has all most of his time. Yep, hell yeah. So right here, <clears throat> my first bull. Big old beast. Hit him right here on the first shot. I'm surprised my my finishing shot was so far back. I must have been too excited. But yep, got this bull. Opening morning was snowed out. We didn't have no no action all day Friday. There was too much snow. We only had like a half an hour, an hour of break. But then uh, Saturday, second day, glassed up a big bull. Probably about this big. More than a thousand yards away. We tried to make this the stock couldn't get on them we ended up following some tracks for miles that day come sunday tomorrow or yesterday we, we we'd seen all these people just driving the roads just driving the roads and pulling out elks so we're like you know what let's try it so we drove around a whole bunch stopped walked through a whole bunch of trees walked like 10 miles nothing we didn't see nothing so from the first day that or actually that saturday we seen elk crossing through this area so we said you know what we're just gonna park the truck right there on the road and just stay there and wait it worked he woke up this morning sat there for the in the truck you know not in the truck but walking around the truck you know glassing around looking sure enough some cows came out of the trees about 80 yards from us a couple more came out a couple more cows couple more bulls smaller bulls that were it was a spike that there's actually a couple guys you know about 40 50 yards over here they got the spike then a couple bigger bulls came out this bull stepped out he was the biggest one in the herd so far so I said screw it we're taking that big one took the shot he did it some crashes got up tried to run a little more I took another finishing shot he was done this is where he lays we ain't moving him from here we're gonna skin him quarter amount debone it 
bring it to the truck so hell yeah first bull down hell yeah Ruben I'm fucking glad you're here fucking I couldn't do this shit without Ruben man it's fucking you got to have a hunting partner if you don't have a hunting partner we hunting got it sucks done. we got it done last three days activity on this hill so we said the last two days we was messing ourselves up so just like Josh said we're just gonna sit right here and I was pretty sure this was the main passing point and sure shit we found the main passing point dead out on the ground baby that's what we do yeah yeah i'll probably put it next year if not well we'll be back again with y'all you know so hell yeah it was that that. Ass. that's what's up congratulations you know i'm yeah, yeah thanks fucking bad glad i'm here to be part of it you know it's what we do we hunt so hell yeah so peace out yeah, we're gonna yeah, get this thing up. cut up so hell yeah Click, like, subscribe, share, comment down below. All that good stuff will always hit you back. So, hell yeah. Peace out. Bull well, down. I don't got a tail to play with. <laughs> <laughs> so, hell yeah. Okay. Peace out. Thanks for joining. Big motherfucker, dude. Now the work starts. Here, get back there. I need that special Oh, picture. come on, dude. I need a try. <laughs> Photo <Yeah>. bomb. <laughs> no, wait. Stay oh, there, yeah, stay there. Shit. Put you in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, we're done. <laughs> We got that fucker all deboned. He's in the bed if you can see him. Got him in the bed. Big old five by six bull. First bull ever. First elk ever. Biggest animal I've ever harvested. <clears throat> it was a journey. All kinds of uh ups and downs and pissed off and everything above but hell yeah fucking me and my partner Ruben right here fucking got right. this, this motherfucker fucking around with mm -hmm. the milk duds oh man I see what? milk duds all over the place so I needed my own <laughs> uh -huh, we got it done uh, it hell was yeah, some fucking badass shit cut. first couple of days were discouraging but we stayed on it like we do our coups and pay off Yep, we just tried to use our, our coup skills. A lot, lot different than coups, but... It still worked. It still paid off. We just used all the different techniques. You know, walking, glassing. Learn, you know, watch we, other people. We just had to do the sit and wait thing. Yep, sit and wait. So it paid off. So hell yeah. We're making our way down to a spot. We're going to figure out a spot to camp. And then we're going to camp and uh, stay the night. Mm -hmm. Probably cook up some meat. And then we'll head up and head out back to town in the morning. Head back south. Yep, Southern heading back Arizona. south. Go home. So, hell yeah. I'm glad you guys could be here on the journey. Yep. Northern Arizona been nice. Yeah. Make sure you click like, subscribe, comment down below, share, all that stuff. So, hell yeah. JNR right here. Getting that shit done. Hell yeah, getting it done. Like always. So, peace out. We still ain't done. We we'll still put a little bit of clips and stuff. We we still we're still camping. We're done hunting, but we're still now camping. Now we're enjoying ourselves for the rest of the day. We're leaving yeah. in the morning. Yeah. So hell yeah. Now heavy. Got the bull. Got hell the yeah. Bull. Super thankful for this one. Hell yeah. This is beautiful country up here. I guess I'll stop for Ruben. Yeah. But this is beautiful country. Yes, it is.
Unit 6A. I'd say we're pretty close to 6,000 feet. Getting close to 7,000. I'll get out for a second. I'll just do a little walk. But yeah, we came to this opening. I just had to look at it. My elk. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's nice and sunny. Snow everywhere. Looks like an ass load of tracks right here. People running around playing in the snow probably. Hell yeah. We're on our way home. It's Tuesday. Tuesday morning. The 3rd. 3rd of December. filled all our tags got all the deers <clears throat> I got two javelinas bonus bobcat finished it up with the elk in the bed now we're driving home been on the road for about two hours now be about another hour until we get home and then uh, some more work starts Yep, yeah. we got some uh, heads to do. Heads and plaques. Like I said, work never stops. Yep. Yeah. So, that's the end of the elk hunt. We're going to be home pretty soon. It's all over. Tags filled. Got a big bull. Tons of meat in the freezer. So, hell yeah. We did it. Got her done. We did it. J and I. It was a pain in the ass, but we finally got it done. The usual, make things harder on ourselves, but you know, first outcome we learned. We learned pretty fast and we got payoff. So, hell yeah. Good shit. So, peace out.